is the season for holiday stress and frigid temps. But sweet treats and comforting Yuletide confections can warm the hearts of even the grumpiest of Grinches. There's nothing like a nice warm piece of fudge in the winter time. Yeah. Fudge became the Winfrey family business in 1979 when Christine and Stuart Winfrey quit their jobs to care for their newborn sons, Mark and Scott, who had been born prematurely. Dad's previous experience in the chocolate business was a way to make some money while caring for the babies. He started making fudge in the basement of his home in Peabody. The Winfrey's sold their fudge to local candy stores. Demand surged and their stove started working overtime. On those cold winter nights, the heat from the stoves actually came up from the basement and heated the home. The Winfrey's eventually moved to a more sophisticated operation in the North Shore town of Rowley. Mark and Scott now run the fudge factory with their sister Jillian. Their roles require constant taste testing for quality control. Mark's not complaining. No, unfortunately, I eat chocolate every single day. <laughs> chocolate fudge is the top seller, but Mark encourages customers to take a chance on non-chocolate fudge, including the Panucci sea salt caramel. The recipe starts with brown sugar, butter, and cream and then we pour our caramel on top of it and douse the top with salt. And just the combination between the salt and the caramel and that brown sugar is just my favorite. Other seasonal fudge flavors include pistachio walnut, pumpkin pie, and of course, eggnog. Mark says while customers enjoy indulging in Winfrey's handcrafted creations, gifting them to others is just as special. People are always happy to get candy, and I think it elicits the same response no matter what you spend, and that response is inevitably joy. Like the Winfrey's, the Hilliards have made delectable chocolate and handmade candy the family business. Erin McCarthy's great-grandparents, Pearlie and Jesse Hilliard, opened Hilliard's Chocolates in 1924. My great grandparents, they started something that we feel so fortunate that we can continue. It's really um, kind of an honor and we're proud of it. So we, we put you know our love into it. The Northeastern flagship location is a Victorian farmhouse. Aaron's grandparents transformed the first floor to a store in 1950. I have a lot of memories here. We lived upstairs when I was young. Um, my parents would come down and work and my brother and I would just hide around, would hide under the tables and sneak candy and walk around the back and we we're friends with all like the workers. Erin and her sister Megan now run the family business and continue to delight customers with recipes created generations ago, including the recipe for homemade candy canes. It takes a lot of people for one small batch and they're definitely homemade. When you get it here, you know that it's from here. The process is meticulous. Each batch is stirred, pulled, shaped, spun, and cut by hand. It's 320 degrees actually. But once they separate the colors, they're just gonna have to do a lot of kneading and, and keeping it warm and keeping the temperature consistent throughout. Eventually, they're gonna work it into a log shape with the red, the white, and the green. And he's gonna bring it over to the taffy stretching machine. This is so cool. So now this totally changed color. Yeah, that's why we use um, the taffy pulling machine. It incorporates the air into it, so it becomes that nice light color. Oh my gosh. I have a whole new appreciation for candy canes. Rolling the candy canes is the last step. Preventing them from cracking is stressful. But the peppermint aroma sparks holiday cheer. That's beautiful. Oh. Not fear for this elf. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Da, 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 da. Everybody now. Da, 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 da. I'm by myself. <laughs> Uh oh. Okay, yeah, so sometimes that happens if it's gotten a little too cool. So all so that singing, to... probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're having too much fun with okay. it. <laughs> Customers flock to Hilliards for seasonal sweets, especially peppermint and Hanukkah bark. This version, made with dark and white chocolate, is flavored with natural peppermint oil and topped with colorful hard candy. The bark, a feast for the eyes and taste buds, caught the eye of a certain celebrity A-lister. 
In 2018, actually, Oprah recognized this as one of her favorite things. So that was like really incredible and kind of put us on the national market. We really thought it was a shot in the dark when we sent her some samples. It was really unbelievable. People love their traditional candy products at Christmas time. You want to go back to the comforting foods, to the comforting gifts, everything that makes you feel good. Oprah, these are for you. Having a good time there, were I, you? I, mean, I was. It's you the were, holidays, you had a okay? Great time. It's so much fun. So as we saw, all yes. the candy canes are um, handmade. So Hilliers does point out no two are ever exactly the same. Oh, and they're so good. All right, and back to Winfrey's Fudge. They actually had a supply chain issue last year. They ran out of their special cocoa and their chocolate liqueur, but they got a shipment in just in time. So the holiday fudge rush <laughs> was saved. This year, they're good to go as well. It must have been a Christmas miracle. I was going to say, another <laughs> Christmas miracle. All right, up.